Check them out. So I, I'm hoping you guys have at least seen some video. It doesn't have to be mine, but you have, must have seen some videos on YouTube about what microservices are all about, right? Uh, the, the fundamental idea is that it's, it's, a, it's a different way of building applications, right? It's not the, uh, the traditional monolithic way in which you say, okay, I'm creating, traditional way of creating uh, applications is what people usually contrast when they say microservices, okay, how is it different? Well, look at how we used to do things before and then identify how things are different. So the traditional way is that single code base or maybe multiple code bases, but then what gets deployed is one entity and it gets, it, it gets deployed on one server it runs on one server, and then it scales as a single entity. That's what the difference is. Uh, it's, it's important to remember the distinction between what you do on the coding side of things, where you can have multiple projects, you can have all, all kinds of modularity, but still end up having a monolith deployed on the server. Right? So in microservices, that thing changes. You could still follow the same patterns with coding, but then what gets deployed, what's happening at runtime is very, very different. Right, so that's the that's the primary way of looking at microservices as this completely different thing, and you know, um, it affects the way you build build stuff. It affects the way you think about how you organize your code. It affects the way you think about what are the other things you need to do around it, and all that stuff. Right. Um, so let's start with the agenda. Uh, we're like I said, it's a, it's going to be a hands-on workshop. We're going to try to make it hands-on. Um, we're going to be creating a couple of microservices. When you did a git clone, what you got was kind of like the final state of what we're going to be building. Right? We're going to be building a sample application, which consists of four microservices. They're all going to work together to form that application that that's going to that, that's what the end goal is going to be. And there are a lot of things you can do with microservices. There are a whole stack of technologies involved. Uh, since this is a basic workshop, we're going to start small. And what we're going to do is we're going to have microservices talk to each other. Okay, that's like the basic thing you have to do. You have one big monolith, you split it up into smaller stuff. What's the most basic thing you have to do? You have to make them talk, right, to get a co cohesive piece of functionality as the end result. So these are the only two things we're going to be doing, but you'll be surprised how much is involved in just getting these two things done, creating microservices and having them talk. There are various aspects to having microservices talk. You can just have one microservice hard code it to make a call to another microservice, get a response, and then do something with it. Or you can be a little bit more elaborate. You can do something like service discovery and have microservices discover who it needs to call and then call it rather than have that target be hard coded. Right? So we're going to be doing both, hopefully, if type permits. Um, I talked about this. The challenge that people have when, you, when they start with microservices is where do you start? You have, like, if you look at um, for something like Spring Cloud, right? Spring Cloud is just one way of creating microservices, one set of technologies for creating microservices. And just in Spring Cloud, you have, like, a whole lot of buzzwords, all kinds of Greek names, and so where do you start? In addition to the technologies, you also have a lot of patterns. Each of those technologies have certain patterns you need to follow, right? That's how you make the best use of those technologies. So it's not just enough to learn what the technology is. You also have to learn how do you use it, right? What are the things you have to do to make this technology work in the optimal way? So that's another challenge we have. The biggest challenge among all those things that I personally faced when I started microservices was they're all interdependent. So that's something that I'm hoping to break in this order. I've kind of uh, picked the order the best I can so that it's kind of like a, an incremental progression rather than this whole chain that you're going to have to learn everywhere. Uh, 